We got checked into our Pamploma Hotel and Bellamy was very excited to see Big Blue. This suitcase we forwarded every seven to 12 days to our rest days with all of our extra stuff. The closet quickly became a little fort for Bellamy to hide out to play and eat snacks. Once we were settled in, we decided to go out and attempt to find some items that we realized we needed to do differently for our Camino to be successful. We headed to Decathlon to shop for some quick drying clothes for Bellamy. The items we brought for her do not dry overnight, and without having a dryer, we need to find something a little different. There was something else we needed to do differently. If you look close enough, you will see Jason with it. After reconfiguring how we were doing our Camino, we found this amazing sky bar and had a nice lunch. Those three days went by fast and we are headed out and on to our next destination. We experienced our first rain leaving Pamplona, allowing us to use our rain gear for the first time. Everything seemed to work smoothly and we were able to continue on. I can appreciate a town whose values are equality, diversity, and respect. We continue to follow the well-marked signs and head out of town. You will notice that we no longer have the Veer wagon. What we failed to capture was our struggle getting the wagon uphill in steep areas. We would have to tie it to my backpack so I could tow it while Jason pushed. Even doing this, we could only go about 20 feet at a time before needing a break. Going down steep hills was also very hard because it did not have brakes, and one wrong move could turn very dangerous. We spent the majority of our time in Pamplona finding a safer way to transport Bellamy. This task was not as easy as one might expect. We went to so many different stores trying to find something that had a braking system and would be able to handle the various terrains of the Camino Francis. We ultimately found a Thule Urban Glide 2. We rearranged our belongings, donated items we didn't need, and put the Veer Wagon in a taxi to my friend Laura's to be dealt with at a later time. We love the Veer Wagon. It is great for any adventure you do locally, but it did not pass the Pyrenees Mountain Test. Well, it made it, but there's definitely a better way to do it. Bellamy likes to try and carry my backpack. I'm pretty sure it weighs more than she does. Jason and I are both working while doing this Camino, so we both have our computers, the drone, and cameras on top of our day-to-day -day Camino requirements. Our packs are heavy, and we also have extras in the storage on the stroller along with Bellamy's portable potty. Along with all of our other work stuff, we have two sets of walking poles. These are quite controversial on the Camino. I honestly never used them until this trip. However, they have been a game changer for me. Doing longer hikes, my hands tend to swell, which can become quite annoying. But these poles have alleviated that by making this a full body exercise. I highly recommend getting a telescoping set of poles versus the string attaching ones. I've seen so many broken and discarded poles and the ones in our Amazon adventure store are the way to go. We are big fans of finding wildlife in all forms and checking them out. This little snail was just swaying in the wind on the long grass enjoying its day. We saw many signs along the Camino saying to watch for deer, but we didn't see a single one. This was a cute little fort made into the brush. We did not go inside, but I imagine it made a dry little home for someone or something. We do not have a plan to stop this afternoon. We decided to stop when we got tired, and that time is quickly approaching as we are starting a big ascent. We stopped to have a snack and do some stretching before the climb, and check out this little castle back behind Jason. It was too windy to take the drone over there, but I'm sure it would have been a great thing to check out. You will find little memorials like this all throughout the Camino. 
Bellamy especially loves checking these out and all the things that people have left behind. She really likes the rocks and would love to bring them all with us if she could. As you can see, being outdoors and on this adventure really fits her personality. She loves it. Boy and Camino. Follow for more family adventures.